What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy DR. And I'm not even going to get into the reason why I've not posted in a few months. But I know some of you guys watch each and every one of my videos and I've been called out by a few people over the last few months for not posting. And I apologize and I hope to get back on track, you know, like posting consistently, giving you guys good content that you've been asking for. So anyways, we're going to hit a back workout today. It's been a while since I posted a back workout. The last back workout I posted, that last in-depth back workout that I did, um, I explained to you guys the different movements, different grips, stuff like that. Today, I'm just going to do my thing and I'll try to explain as much as possible what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. All right, so let's go. All right, guys, so I always start my back workout with some pull-ups, right? And I like to start my back workout with pull-ups because I'm still fresh. If I do them at the end, I feel like my uh, form is going to be compromised. I don't have my weighted belt or else I would have done some weighted pull-ups right now because I also like to do weighted pull-ups. But, you know, body weight pull-ups <laughs> will do. If there was one and only one back workout I could do, it would be pull-ups. Pull-ups really uh, hits every part of the back. Rhomboids, straps, um, lower back, uh, lats, uh, red delts, you name it. Every part of the back is involved in a pull-up. So if you don't do pull-ups, try to incorporate it into your back routine as much as possible. I know you might not be able to pull your own body weight, but that should always be a goal of yours to be able to pull your own body weight at some point. So uh, when training, you need to be very intentional with everything you do. It's not just about pulling weight, right? Back to back is one of the, if not the most complex uh, muscle group on the body. So hand placements, grips, angles, different angles, they come into play and they're very important in uh, hitting all parts of your back and building a complete back. So we're gonna be doing lat pull downs, right? And so, Basically, think about it like this. Anything that moves in this plane, elbows stuck to your side with like a neutral grip or supinated or an underhand grip, your elbows to your side, close to your body, it's gonna target more of your lat, right? It's gonna be better for your lats. And anything that moves this motion, like wide, that involves your shoulder blades kind of wrapping around or your shoulder blades coming closer together, that's going to hit more of your upper back, your mid back. Talking about traps, rhomboids, red delts, stuff like that, right? So basically with back training to build a complete looking back, you're thinking about two things. You're thinking about width, which is your lats. Your lats are going to give you width and thickness, which are those upper mid back muscles like your traps, rhomboids, etc. So yeah, think about it like that. So moving on to uh, the next exercise, lat pull down, but uh, supinated grip or reverse grip. Same concept, I'm not going super wide. I'm going shoulder width, starting off really light. Squeeze.
All right, guys, so next exercise, we're gonna go with uh, lat pullovers. Um, super good for your lats. I'm doing it with rope, with the rope, so I'm not going super wide. It's gonna be close. I'm gonna kill the lats. I lean forward just a bit for that stretch. Come straight down and squeeze. This exercise, when done right, you feel that contraction immediately in your lat. Uh, it's a tricky exercise to uh, get down, but what I've honestly uh, learned over time is that the more upright I am, the easier it is for me to come down here and uh, contract my lat, squeeze my lat. Like just me doing the motion right now without the rope in my hand, I can feel it. Like when I'm here, I squeeze, I can feel all lats right now as opposed to uh, leaning all the way forward. To me, it doesn't contract the same. Moving on, uh, we had the hammer strength reverse grip lat pull down right now. It's a very similar motion to uh, that reverse lat pull down I just did. But this time, this one is like closer to my body. Come down, squeeze. Feel the lats immediately. So the way I'm doing this workout today, um, I'm doing lat focus first. It's everything I've done so far leading up to this point, mainly focus on lats. And then I'll transition into um, that upper back, that mid, upper back, mid back area. One thing though, you don't need to do all of this in one workout because the back is such a complex group of muscles. You can break up your workouts into, uh, let's say, one workout you're focusing on width and then one workout you focus on thickness or you can just do a mixture of both but that will take way more energy and if you're not an advanced lifter you might not be getting the most out of your workouts uh, combining both so it's whatever works for you So moving on, uh, we're gonna use this uh, low row machine. Again, good for lats. I'm gonna be using a neutral grip. Elbows close to the side, pulling back.
Alright guys, so this is upper back focus. Okay guys, so I know we're gonna be focusing on uh, upper back. So what I just did, this wide um, neutral grip, um, and then gonna do a wider uh, pronated grip, right? So we're gonna be hitting the parts of that upper mid back area. So basically we kind of done with lats, so my lats are fried right now to be honest. Um, but I showed you in that first set, showed you an example of that grip that you could use to focus more on your lat. So if you have this machine at your gym, it's like uh, four different handles on there, I utilize all handles. That way you leave in no stone on turn and you kind of target in every uh, part of your back as much as possible. Hey guys, today I'm feeling uh, fatigued. Um, I don't know what it is, but yeah, this for sure feels uh, crazy heavy. Um, I'm usually able to pull five plates. Uh, four plates just felt heavy as hell, but I'm trying to challenge myself. So I'm trying to see how many reps I can get at five. Because usually every back day, I pull five plates. Um, but yeah, we'll see. felt heavy. <sighs> All right, so we're moving on to this exercise right here. Another upper back exercise. All right, so I'm gonna sit all the way back, right? I'm gonna lean forward, get that stretch. I'm gonna contract, elbows out. <sighs> One. Alright guys, so the last exercise for the upper back. Um, we're gonna do another variation of uh, pull downs. But this time, we're gonna be using the single grips. Let me go a little lighter so I can demonstrate. I'm gonna be pulling down, so neutral grip, right? Not pronated, not supinated, neutral grip. I'm gonna be pulling down and out. All right, so I'm not, I'm not coming straight down like this, nah. I'm pulling, basically I'm like ripping something apart so start here and I go out here, right? Elbows wide, one, back up, two, nice stretch, three, four, and then you squeeze in. Because of that motion, what that does is allowing my uh, shoulder blades to move uh, closer to each other aka I'm targeting my upper back and the center of my back a little more for that thickness. Hi right, guys, there you have it, uh, back day. Hopefully you can take some of the info that I shared on this um, video and apply to your uh, training routine. But yeah, big difference between training for width and training for uh, thickness, right? So it's good to know uh, the differences regardless if you train your back everything is really um going to get involved anyway just at some uh, movements some hand placements some grips some angles uh focus on certain parts more than others but yeah as i always say i appreciate everybody that uh watches my videos if you haven't subscribed please do so hit that notification bell so you get notified every time i drop a new video but as always until next time stay blessed stay safe peace